Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a quick and easy project. There's been a lot going on this week, so I decided to do something quick and easy. Usually I post a card on Tuesdays and then Sundays I do a 3D project. And sometimes I'll try to switch in another project during the week if I have time because yes, I have two jobs that I'm working now <laughs> and y'all who've been around already know all that. But anyway, this is quick and easy and it is this little sending you a big squeeze box. I love this stamp set. It's really, really fun and it's one of my favorite right now. You probably can tell because I've used it a few times, but this little box is an inch wide. It is four inches long so it's going to fit quite a bit of little goodies so this is what i'm putting in there these little lemon drops but you can put like the lemon uh, jelly bellies you can you don't even have to put anything lemon in it you can put whatever you want in it but i made this for a friend i'm going to have lunch with sometime this week because i haven't seen her in a long time and so this is going to be for her Anyway, if you are new, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. That really helps my channel, so I would really appreciate it if you watch regularly to please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it and also share because all those things really will help my channel get out there. And believe it or not, I don't have a huge following. Um, there are people who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and so I'm really trying to build my channel and get it out there a little bit more so I would appreciate it if you could help me do that so thank you all in advance for all that and I know a lot of you who are already sharing I really appreciate it so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart all right so here again is what we're gonna make so let's get started with this it's really easy I've made these boxes in all different sizes before. So what you're going to need for this is a piece of 8.5 by 6. This is Daffodil Delight. You can use a lemon lolly as well. I'm using our 6 by 6 Designer Series paper pack for this. I love these paper packs. There's so much that you can do with them. There's um, all different in our color families. I'll have them. It has four des different designs. It has that design and then the stripe and polka dots. So this is what I'm using in Daffodil Delight. This piece is 3 and 7 eighths by 2. If you are new, I put an inspiration sheet on my blog every week. Um, every time I do a project, I put an inspiration sheet there, sheet there with all the measurements. So you can go there, print it, download it, and print it. So this is the stamp set, Sweet Citrus. And then I'm using the dies, Sweet Citrus dies. And I'm using everything from here except for the sentiment. I'm, I'm using this sentiment right here, but I'm using the die. Let me pull it out here. This is from the tag from Something Fancy Dies. So this one has a lot. Um, if you haven't seen these, look at all the little tags and little dies that you can use for your sentiments. I love this one. It's really a good one. All right, let's get started with this. So I'm going to stamp first, and I'm going to bring up my Stamparatus. We do not carry the Stamparatus any longer, which is so disappointing. I don't know what happened actually with it, but we don't carry it anymore. And I love that it has two um, different platforms that you can just do two at a time. So it really helps when you are stamping. So I'm going to put my magnets on here and we are going to be using two different colors. We're using crushed curry and this is for the outside part and then we're going to use daffodil delight for the lemon itself. So usually I'll put my stamp pad under here to give it some stability but I'm just going to hold it today. It doesn't matter which side by the way that you stamp first. So there's this one, and let me get my... If you have arthritis or any kind of hand problems like I do, this little tool has been so good. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to line them up. No, I already got them all lined up. So I'm using the uh, Daffodil Delight on just the lemon right here. 
and then the rest of it's going to be crushed curry just to give it a little bit of a different uh, darker like the skin on the outside and then we're just going to do these and if you have to stamp this over again, like my little lemon, I had to stamp again. So this is the Daffodil Delight. Yes, so I'm going to do that. And I think I need to do this part again on the big lemon. Let's see if we can get them all now. Yep, yeah, we got it. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to take it out of the Stamparatus and then I'm going to stamp the leaves that we're going to need for this. So I love that you can stamp these all together. The other ones, I didn't use them all, so I'll save them for another project because you know I'm going to use this again. I love this set. So we're going to stamp. We need three leaves. And I'm going to show you the die here because I want to make sure that I leave room. So this die goes on here like this. It's just going to make it too, y'all. This piece is just about big enough. And I'm really only worried about these two the most because those are the two I'm going to use. All right, now I can stamp. I need my little stamping pad. We're going to stamp three of these with garden green and I do have two dies to cut these so we can run two out at one time which is really nice this one will do in just a minute I'm going to stamp actually the sentiment as well and I'm going to use this piece right here on some memento black and then I could run everything through at the same time I love the sentiment it's so cute Let's do that one here. Sending you a big squeeze. And then this one's going to fit on here like this. I'll cut this so it's not so big. All right, so I'm going to send those all through, and I will be back with them all cut out. Okay, so we have all our pieces ready to go here. You can use any of these. Put any of the ones that you like together and um, that would work. So what we're gonna do is set those all aside. I'm going to go ahead and get my Simply Scored and we are going to score this. So first thing you're gonna do is score on the eight and a half inch side and you're gonna score it at one, one and a half, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, seven and seven and a half and then turn it and score it at one and five and that's it I'm dropping everything here all right so what you're going to do here is on this side you're going to cut these two off And then you're going to cut the sides. I'm going to cut into the sides here. And I'm going to do it the same on this side. And we're going to do the other side a little bit different. Okay, so on this side, you're going to cut down this way. And you're going to just cut this top part off. And then I'm going to cut into this. These are going to be flaps that go inside. You don't even have to keep these flaps on if you accidentally cut them off. It's okay. It, the box is closed, but I have this thing about having these inside flaps. They just seem that they just belong there, y'all. That's all. They belong there. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And I'm going to round my corners with my little corner rounder. We don't carry this one anymore. We have another one that's a big... Uh, corner rounder, but this is my favorite, so I continue to use it. I'll link one in the description, something similar um, for this. 
and then you're just going to round all these. And then we're going to use our bone folder. This one is linked in the description as well. I love this bone folder. This one's not a Stampin' Up, but, and I still like my Stampin' Up for other things, but this one, I don't know, it's just been so good for me. These are going to go the opposite way. And then we're going to do our sides. This is a fun little box. And you can use it for just about anything. A birthday, anything that you like. So what we're going to do is we're going to put adhesive on here, not on this top flap. I'm going to use my stamp and Seal Plus. But you don't want to put it on the top flap. And then we're going to pull these in, pull this up. And line your bottoms up here so that your flap will fold inside. Make sure the bottom is nice and straight. And then this folds there and then you don't have to worry about seeing it. It looks more professional to me. And then I'm going to use my half inch circle punch and we are going to punch these but I'm going to punch one at a time because it's a lot easier. And I'm only eyeballing the center. And then I'm just going to take my little pen here and we're going to go like that, and then we're going to do this one. Oops, that's my corner rounder. That ain't going to work. And then just punch that. And then you got your things lined up. All right, so let's mat this. I'm just going to use my regular seal for this. You can even use the polka dots, but I love the stripe. that on here. This is so cute. I love I love this set. That's all that's to it. That's probably why I like it so much. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to put this one up a little bit. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals. And we are going to pop up the larger lemon. that one here. Don't worry, put it off if you want to. I, I like to put it off to the side a little bit. And then we're going to use one for this one. And then you could use these on another project. And I'll set that aside. And then we're going to just put, I'm going to use glue for this, the wet glue. This is not my normal glue, by the way. I'm still trying to use this all up. Um, it's a good glue, don't get me wrong. It's a good glue, but my other one does not get my fingers sticky, and that's what I love about it. That's the Barely Art glue that I really like. And that's what I normally use. Put that there, and then I'm going to cut this one, and I'm only going to use one side of this. So I'm going to just cut this off. And then we're going to add just one right here. And then we're just going to tie our bow. And our bow is using, of course, I've used this in the last few videos. It's a sheer ribbon combo pack. I love this pack. I love this ribbon. It's just so pretty. And I always talk about this. It's got like a silver metallic going through it. I think it's silver, maybe gold. And then we're just going to tie a bow. Oh, I forgot to put my candy in there. Let's put the candy in first. Then I'll have it ready to go. All right. I have one for both girls that I work with. So, well, one of them, she left. So she's the one I'm going to see again. So I'm going to give one to the girl that I work with and then one that I, to the girl that I used to work with. She, I mentored her. And then she left, and that's why I'm back at that job. Because <laughs> then my boss didn't have anybody. So I'm helping him out. 
came out of retirement, y'all. <laughs> but it's been fun getting back around people. I've really, really missed that. And, you know, with COVID and stuff, I just haven't taken my Stampin' Up! business. Um, I used to do workshops, and but I quit doing that after COVID. And I have not gotten back on, into it. All right. So there you have it. It's already all done. Isn't it cute? I really think it came out really sweet. I hope that you enjoy it, everyone. If you need any supplies, I have a new host code. It's right up here. It's always on my blog if you need to look up my host code. I always post it on Facebook, my Facebook page, where you can follow me. I also have it on Instagram. So, y'all, there's lots of places you can find it. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Forgot to tell you that in the beginning. Have a blessed day. Bye.